All right, folks, so what I wanted to do here is test the antenna that comes on this BTEC DMR6X2, and I want to compare it against an aftermarket antenna. And for this one, we're going to look at this signal stuff, uh, dual band antenna. And we are going to use the Nisei. This is a very highly technical piece of equipment, <clears throat> SWR and power meter. Now, if that sounds like something you want to watch, why don't you go grab yourself a nice cold one, come on back, and we'll get started. All right, so hopefully everybody made it back. Let's talk a little bit about why we're doing this test. So this is an analog and a digital dual band handheld ham radio. And uh, one of the things that I saw with another radio I was considering buying is, is that the antenna that comes with the radio was designed to work with the radio and they had an impedance match. And that basically means that any resistance in the antenna is expected by the radio. And it's typically around 50 ohms is what you would see. But in this other radio, when you would put different antennas on the radio, it wouldn't work as well. And then you would start to see that there, there was a mismatch with that particular antenna. But anyhow, what I want to do is I just want to test this radio. I want to test the power output of this radio. I want to test the antenna and, uh, and see what kind of SWR feedback we get and then compare it with the other one, like I said before. And to keep track of it, I put together this little chart. And uh, we're going to do UHF and VHF tests. So VHF, we're going to test on the hailing frequency or calling frequency of 146.52. And on UHF, we're going to call on 432.1. Anyhow, let me get this set up and we'll get started. Now, as I set this up, you might be saying to yourself, there's an awful lot of adapters on that power meter. And you'd be right. I want to make sure that I'm super careful here because I do not want to break the pin on my radio. Let's go ahead and turn this on. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the power tests. Okay, so when this radio comes on, what you'll see is it's set for um, digital mode and channel mode. So what I want to do is I want to switch over to VFO. And my VFO is already set for analog, and it's set for the 2 meter calling frequency of 146.52. We're going to go ahead and do the power test first. So what I've done is i programmed a side switch to be able to switch through the power pretty quickly. So let's just go ahead and do that. We're rated at 1 power on low. I'm sorry, well, 1 watt on low. So I want to make sure that my range for my, my uh, meter here is set at 15 watts and my function is set for power. Let's go ahead, key up, and get started. All right, so that looks like it's right on one watt. Let's go ahead and switch to medium and see what happens. So now we're on medium or middle. And that looks like it's really around two, not two and a half. So maybe it's a little bit low there. Let's go ahead and switch to high. It looks like it's right on five to me. And let's go ahead and switch to turbo. And that looks like it's a little closer to 10 than five, so it's probably a little higher than the advertised seven. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch to UHF. So I'm gonna change my frequency to four, three, two, one zero 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 a lot of zeros in there <clears throat> and then I want to make sure that my power is set to low all right there we go let's go ahead and test it looks like it's right around one maybe potentially just a little bit higher but we're gonna call it one let's go to medium where we should be at 2.5 and that looks like it's closer to three maybe just under three. Let's switch to high. Just under five. And then turbo. Looks to be right around six to me. So it's reporting pretty much what you would expect and according to the factory specifications with the stock antenna. Okay, now we're gonna test our SWR with the stock antenna. I've gone back to the VFO frequency mode of 146.52. We need to change our, our meter here to go to SWR. 
and then we want to make sure that our power is set to low there we go all right let's see what we get so it barely moves I'm gonna go ahead and call that a one let's go to middle maybe 1.2 Let's go to high. I'm going to say it's right around 1.2. Let's go to turbo. And I'm going to say that was 1.2. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and try a UHF frequency. And then we're in low mode, or low power, I should say. That definitely looked like 1.2 to me. That's probably 1.3. It looks like 1.5. I'm starting to get a little worried here. Let's go to turbo. And it looks like 1.5. Maybe a little bit higher. All right, now I'm going to switch this antenna on, and I'm going to put on this antenna from Signal Stuff. There'll be a video coming out for this on my channel at some point in time. Um, it looks like it's got some digital printed parts. <clears throat> it's by the guy who supports hamstudy.org. You can pick this up for about $20, and it has a lifetime guarantee, and then you can tie it into pretzel shapes. Love BNC connectors. Okay, we're going to start off testing in the two meter band at 146.52. Well, this antenna is a little long here, it's bouncing all over the place. Let's go ahead and uh, set ourselves to low mode or low power. Let's go ahead and give it a quick test. Maybe 1.2. 1 1.3, 1 1.4. We'll call it 1.4. Now we're on high. It's a 1.5. 1.5. Let's go ahead and switch over to UHF. Go ahead and go to low power, and here we go. We'll call that 1.3. Well, it jumped up to 1.5. Now we're on high. That's probably 1.7. So we want 1.3, 1.5, 1, 1, 1, 1.7, if my memory works. And that's 2. So I probably prefer that to be a little bit lower than that but it's entirely possible that it's just this antenna um, there's not a mismatch with the radio I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm happy and the radio passed I don't believe that there is a mismatch here <clears throat> the other thing I want to say is I did test this on analog because this is not a digital meter alright so let's go over and review what we found so if we take a look at this our power output rating seems to be pretty much on the money the one thing that was a little bit off is I would say that the actual VHF on medium was closer to 2 than 2.5 and then the turbo which was supposed to be at 7 was a little bit higher than 7. Um, the other thing that I would point out on here is, is that it looks like on both antennas we had a little bit higher um, SWR feedback on the UHF frequencies but um, with the signal stuff antenna it seemed to be a little bit higher than the stock antenna. Anyhow, if you have any questions, you can go ahead and post them below. If you like this video, go ahead and give a thumbs up, comment, or subscribe. If you want to see content of a similar nature, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Thanks, everybody, for watching. really appreciate it.